Hi, I'm Kamran Shah, Director of Marketing at the Mentor Embedded Software Division at Mentor Graphics. The Internet of Things really does span every market and industry that we see today. Behind me you can see some showcase demonstrations that span automotive systems, medical, smart meters, as well as uh, consumer electronics. And really connectivity is being brought into all of these devices. For example, in automotive, um, people want to have consumer electronics experiences. So with Mentor's hypervisor solution, we're able to maintain the safety and reliability required for rear-facing camera functionality while bringing in connectivity through Android separated using a hypervisor. So it really does become important with the Internet of Things to bring in connectivity, but do it in a manner where reliable execution of critical control systems is, is available. Similarly, with medical devices, it's important that certification processes enable medical devices to be produced in a reliable manner. But as you bring in connectivity, how do you ensure that that's separated and doesn't really impact the critical nature of the certified component of the uh, medical device? So with the Nucleus RTOS, what we're able to do is use a lightweight process model that enables our customers to be able to implement a safety critical subsystem that's certified using um, Nucleus, but also then introduce connectivity in a separate manner. So if that happens to have any issues, it doesn't negatively impact the key functionality of the medical device. Moving forward, one of the trends we're likely to see is a need to reduce the power consumption and power draw of these devices. In the case of home healthcare, um, it's important to be able to run a battery operation. If you're monitoring somebody's um, heart function, you want to be able to do that without having to have them plugged in over a three-day period. So again, with our operating system and development tools, we've gone um, a long way in really simplifying the process to be able to take advantage of the capability of hardware to be able to develop low power consumption systems to extend battery life and also device life. Semiconductor providers have added a lot of capability into hardware to be able to um, reduce power consumption, but a lot of that requires a great deal of expertise. With Nucleus, we really try to simplify it. One of the things they've enabled is being able to change the frequency at which the processor executes. So here, just by clicking on one button, we make one simple function call and reduce the operating frequency from 454 megahertz to 237. And that reduces the power consumption by a lot and increases the battery time, the lifetime that can be operated with a battery. Another thing with um, emerging devices, there's a lot of connectivity and peripherals. So depending on which application subsystem is running, Wi-Fi or Ethernet may be in use or not, the serial port may be in use, the touchpad may be on or off, and the LCD screen may be on or off. With the Nucleus RTOS, each application subsystem can just register which system state needs to execute within, and the operating system automatically takes care of it. So here we can see that we're going to switch from having the LCD in full power mode to low power mode, and then we'll go ahead and even switch off all the connectivity, Wi-Fi and Ethernet, and really reduce the battery consumption down when it's not necessary to be executing all those capabilities. So this way what we're doing is letting um, application developers more easily take advantage of all the um, low power features available in hardware through a simple application programming framework with the Nucleus RTOS.